lazily strolling around the house. I happily watched the TV on the couch, and I was too lazy to move a muscle. Did you notice the words happily and lazily? Yes, they both ended in L-Y. And did you notice about the word too? It described how lazy I was. I was too lazy to move. All right, you're correct. I'm talking about adverbs. Adverbs are words that describe verbs, another adverb, or adjective. Most adverbs end in L-Y, like happily and lazily. But not all adverbs, because too is an adverb too. But it doesn't end with L-Y. When you are using adverbs, you ask yourself the questions, when, where, how, and how much. Now I'm going to tell you a few examples. So here are the examples, guys. Let's start with the first one. Johnny easily sank the basketball. Here, easily is the adverb. So I'll write A, B, B. And the verb here is sank. So I'll just underline them. So Johnny easily sank the basketball. How did he sink the basketball? Easily. So easily describes the verb sank. Easily describes The verb sank. So here I ask myself, how did Johnny sink the, sink the ball? He sank it easily. So let's move on to the next one. I was too late to watch the show. So here, to is the adverb. And then the adjective here is late. So as you can see here, the to is describing the adjective late. But isn't, it isn't uh, describing the verb watch or, some, any, or any other verb. Like I said, adverbs, uh, adverbs describe verbs, adjectives, and uh, other adverbs. So here, it's late, which is the adjective, which is described by to. So, to... Describes how late. Here's a tip. If you forget to, or, well, can't identify where the adverb is, ask yourself these questions. When did it happen? Where did it happen? How did it happen? And how much? So here, in the first one, suppose I don't know where the adverb is. I'll ask myself, how did Johnny sink the ball? He sank it easily. So now I know the adverb is easily. But here, it was like, suppose it was, I was late to watch the show, but you need to add an adverb. You ask yourself, how late? It was too late to watch the show. Now guys, let me tell you about relative adverbs. There are three types of relative adverbs. Where, when, and why. So, relative adverbs connect two clauses or sentences. Let's start with 
with my examples. The corner where Jessie keeps her books is almost full. So here, uh, where does she keep her books? She keeps it in the corner. So here the corner is the noun. I'll write N. And where starts the adjective clause, which is Jessie keeps her books. So where is the relative adverb? the relative adverb which heads the adjective clause and the adjective clause is Jesse keeps her books. So that's the adjective clause. I'll write that on top. There, let's move on to the next example. The month when I was born was the coldest in the year. So the month here is the noun. And when is the relative adverb which heads the adjective clause. So when I was born. There, so when is the relative adverb and when I was born, so that part is the adjective clause. So these are my two examples for relative for relative adverbs, guys. So have fun being an adverb master.